Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about one food item and microbiology behind it. That is South Indian dish that is idli or the same batter is used for making dosa. Okay. So today's topic is microbiology behind idli. Why I came to this topic is because in my college time I had this question in my vivas that how idli batter ferments. We don't add any inoculum but still it ferments in 7 to 8 hours. How does that happen? Okay, so where these microbes they come from? That was the question. So today I am going to explain you that here. Right, so it is one of the famous food of Indian uh, or it is from India, especially from South India. Okay, so idli is a cereal legume based food and idli is a small white acid live steam cake made by fermentation of thick batter of carefully washed and soaked rice and black gram dal. Okay, so it is soft and spongy with desirable sour flavor and it is eaten with chutney or pickle or sambar. Okay, so this is basic or uh, uh, a little bit about the food item. Okay? So how it is made? So here is the actual uh, answer I can see for the fermentation. Okay, so idli is naturally fermented process. Okay, the batter is naturally fermented. It is prepared by steaming of fermented batter prepared from soaked rice and black gram dal. Okay, so this is the reason or this is the source for bacteria that is rice and black gram dal. Okay, so after soaking what happens these bacteria they get water. So all the uh, essential or what we can say favorable conditions they get and they start growing okay so naturally there are some bacteria which are present on the surface of rice or say black gram dal okay and once we wash them and soak them they start growing okay here only when we soak the uh, mixture of dal and rice okay the proportion of rice to black gram is usually 1 is to 4 to 4 is to 1 and the best results are obtained in 2 is to 1 proportion. Okay, mostly 2 is to 1 is uh, used. Okay, the black gram dal and rice are soaked separately in water for uh, 3 to 10 hours before grinding into the paste. So this time it differs. Okay, even uh, you get good results if you soak the rice and dal for say 4 hours also. Okay, that is minimum. After grinding, both the pests are with, uh, yeah, both the pests are with each other with the salt as per taste and enough water. Okay, so you mix those both the paste and you leave it for fermentation for around 18 hours. Okay, so naturally, uh, we Indians we prefer for keeping it for fermentation for say eight hours. Okay, this is actually more time given here but still 8 hours to 10 hours is max okay you get a very nice fermented batter okay the microbial flora associated with this fermentation so let's study that the microorganisms developing during the initial soaking of ingredients are sufficient to carry out the fermentation okay so the soaking step is the starting point or triggering point for these microbes to in, uh, to yeah to initiate their growth okay both bacteria and yeast they play important role in fermentation bacteria are responsible for acid and gas production whereas yeast is responsible for organoleptic quality gram dal is effective substrate for maximum number of fermentation organism and it has high high number of nutrients that support growth of lactic acid bacteria Okay, bacteria associated are leuconostoc, mesenteritis, then lactobacillus, uh, corniformis, lactobacillus, telbrucki, then lactobacillus fermentum, lactobacillus lacti. Okay, so these are some 
uh, examples which you can mention if you get this question okay so yeast which are associated with this fermentation are saccharomyces cerevisiae then uh, terulopsis candida trichosporon pullulans and Debra debryomyces uh, temeri okay Debry debryomyces temeri the role of lactic acid bacteria is to reduce the ph of batter to 4.5 to uh, yeah 4.4 to 4.5 and this ph is optimum for yeast activity okay so that is why you find yeast growing in the batter as well okay next is about biochemical changes okay so there are two major changes that are leaving and acidification so in the process of leaving during fermentation the volume of batter it increases from one to three times of the original volume okay and acidification is the process the lactic acid is produced by bacteria okay so these are two major biochemical changes that happens during the fermentation so during the fermentation the volume of idli batter takes place okay it increases the it increases uh, say around 1.6 to 3.1 of the original volume the ph value it decreases from 6 to 4.3 or uh, 5.3 and there is a slight increase in the level of soluble salts and non protein nitrogen okay the level of soluble nitrogen and free amino acid gets increased the essential amino acid increase like uh, choline methionine cysteine and vitamin c is seen okay so all this uh, information i got from this website that is general microscience okay and it is uh, i can say a very beautiful article which i got to refer in and everything is explained in simple words okay so do refer this website and there are other topics as well on say fermentation and all so that is actually very helpful all the rights are reserved to these authors okay so here is another chart which i found on internet i guess on science direct okay uh, very good research article which has um, shown this very in very simple way that idli is also considered as probiotic and why so here are some reasons okay so let's study so first is increase of lactose tolerance and digestion next is positive influence in the intestinal flora again a very good characteristic of a probiotic okay then reduction of intestinal ph then improvement of intestinal functioning then cholesterol reduction then reduction of ammonia and other toxic compounds then production of b vitamins like folic acid then restoration of normal intestinal microflora after antibiotic therapy again very important point and that's why uh, probiotics are given a lot of importance nowadays okay then next is treatment and prevention of acute diarrhea by rotavirus okay so if your stomach is upset you need to restore your microbial flora then you can have these natural probiotics like idli dosa or even simple curd is a very good probiotic okay and the last is stimulation of immune responses okay so yeah don't forget idli is also considered as a probiotic okay you may get this question in your viva i can't say yes or no right so this is very simple uh pictorial flow chart i can say which i made here for some of you who don't know how idli is made or how it looks okay so first step is you wash and soak rice and black gram dal that is urad dal for four or five or six hours okay some of people they have habit of adding few fenugreek seeds okay for enhancing the flavor okay say about 1 tablespoon that is okay so 2 is to 1 proportion 
you can follow here then you yeah after soaking then you can grind it into a fine paste like consistency and leave it to ferment and rise for next seven to eight hours okay so after seven to eight hours like say uh, mostly i prefer doing this step at night say around by uh, 10 or uh, yeah between 10 to 11 at night and then in morning when i check my batter say uh, by around um, 7 or 8 m i get my batter fermented properly okay so max 7 to 8 hours are okay for getting your idli batter fermented properly right so once you have this fermented batter you can steam it and your idli is ready to eat so this is kind of steamer okay where you pour your batter and you can steam them for say around six to eight minutes and then you can eat your idli your idli is ready to serve you can eat it with chutney sambar or pickle etc etc okay so yeah this was about today's topic hope you like today's video thank you for watching and do like my videos share my videos and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and do recommend them to subscribe to my channel okay so hope you love this and it is helping you a lot if you find some topic which is troubling you you are not getting notes on internet or from your college then do comment in comment box i will try to upload a video on that okay or you can reach me on my gmail id that also i will be giving down in description box okay so yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook by the same handle that is microbial concepts okay till then bye bye